Photo 51 is the rather modest name given to a photograph that was taken by two scientists, Rosalind Franklin and Raymond Gosling, working at King's College London. And if you took a look at photo 51, you might think it wouldn't look out of place in a modern art gallery. It shows a, a blurry pattern of black spots. Those black spots were made by x-rays that had been scattered when they passed through a fiber of DNA. Um, Franklin and Gosling were using x-rays to study the structure of DNA, and so they were collecting these scattering patterns that the scattered x-rays made. Photo 51 provided a particularly important clue. In his memoir, The Double Helix, James Watson said that when he first saw photo 51, he said, my mouth dropped open and my pulse began to race. Why was he so excited? Well, if you look at the pattern of spots made by the scattered x-rays in photo 51, they make a very striking pattern of a black cross. And Watson knew that only a molecule that was twisted round into a helix would scatter the x-rays to give you this striking cross pattern. So, of course, with the recent opening in London of the new play, Photo 51, in which Nicole Kidman plays the scientist Rosalind Franklin, there'll be a renewed interest, not just in the story of the photograph, but actually in the, the wider story of the discovery of, of DNA. But what few people realise is actually neither Franklin nor her colleague Maurice Wilkins, who showed Watson the picture, nor Watson, nor Raymond Gosling, none of them were actually the first people to see this striking cross pattern that told of a double helix that set Watson's mouth dropping and his pulse racing. Because a year earlier, British scientist William Astbury, up at Leeds, and his research assistant, Alwyn Beaton, had taken an X-ray image of DNA that was almost identical to photo 51.